All right, welcome to today's Ty Lopez podcast radio program. I've got a special guest, Travis Rosser. We're talking about he and his, how him and his business partner built software, a company called Kajabi, that's now powering 19, uh, over 9,000 businesses that are making over uh, about $4 million a month. So it's very important you have technology and tools. So we're going to talk about how you build tools, how you find what tool to use, we're going straight to the source, so it's going to be cool. Pay attention. Okay, here we go. We're going to go live. What is up, everybody? We are here. Welcome to Behind the Scenes of the Podcast. I'm talking here with Travis, co-founder of Kajabi, on how you can use software and tools to make money. You got to automate income. You can't just do it for, through brute force like most people do. I'm going to be giving away cash, an iPad at the end. Is this supposed to be muted? Um, here's the deal. He's built a company, Kajabi, that has powers about, what do we say, almost 10,000 yeah. businesses every month. They're making over $4 million a month using his software. So the first thing to make money online, you got to ask yourself, like, what software are you going to use? You're not, the websites have to be driven by something. In 1994... You had Amazon probably cost them one or two hundred thousand dollars to build a website. Now you can. How much does it cost to launch on Kajabi? You can get Kajabi for around a hundred dollars a month. Hundred bucks a month. By yeah. the way, this is not a paid advertisement for Travis or anything like that. Like he didn't pay to be here. So for all you cynics in a world of highly cynical but hurt people, um, just listen, and maybe you'll learn something. And if you don't learn something, then change the channel. So. Let's talk about, I want to go through three main principles for people watching this that are going, I want to make money online, but I don't really know how to start. Or for those people that are already started, okay, how do they increase their income using software? It, and I want to preface it with this. Most people I meet do one of the two mistakes in business. The first one is they come to me. They're like, Ty, I heard you had a Lamborghini. Here's my advice for you, man. I invented this thing. It's called the wheel. And it's I got these concrete stone age wheels. And I'm going to bring them to you in your Ferrari and Lamborghini. And you can drive down the street. And I look at it and I'm like, dude, first of all, that was invented a couple thousand years ago. So you're behind. Secondly, it not only was invented, but it's been refined over the years. So now the tires that you put on a Ferrari or Bugatti or a race car are much better than a concrete. So that's the first mistake people do. They're, using, they're reinventing the wheel themselves. So with making money online, I, I see people that are like hiring a webmaster. And I've done this. I've spent over $10 million of my own money in the last 10 years building my own custom software. It's very hard. It's powerful if you do it, but... Would I recommend that to people now? Probably not, because when I got started, there wasn't Kajabi, there wasn't WordPress, there wasn't Shopify, there wasn't ClickFunnels. Now there's so many more tools. There wasn't Amazon, you know, merch where you can sell as a your own store on Amazon. So that's the first mistake that I want you guys to avoid. The second mistake that you can make when it comes to uh, trying to make money online or building a business is that people come to me and they go, Ty, I am hustling 18 hours a day. I lock myself in a room. I'm not going to come out of the room until I make money. Yeah. And I go, working hard is only 25% of the formula scientifically for success. There's four components to con conscientiousness is the personality trait most associated with you becoming wealthy from a statistical standpoint in the hexaco score, right? H-E-X-A-C-O, the C stands for conscientiousness. It's divided into four categories. One of them is prudence, one of them is diligence, one of them is perfectionism, and one of them is organization. So it's 25% is diligence, which we define as hard work in the modern world. The other 75% comes from other things. One of them is organization. One of them is, I was talking about on my Snapchat, being a perfectionist. But the third thing is prudence, meaning making good decisions. And if you're somebody who's making the decision to build your software from scratch or not thinking through and not researching what already exists, then you're that dumbass that's reinventing concrete wheels and trying to stick them on Lamborghinis. So that's my preface to this. Okay, Travis, 
three things that people need to know. The one, and let's go as practical as possible. Yeah. What is the first most important thing from a tool standpoint? Mm Because humans are powerful when they use tools. Tool standpoint that people need to know to make money online. First of all, I would see what people are doing out there that are already successful. You know, you're always talking about reading books, having mentors. There's a lot of people that have gone before you and done really well online. Like you were saying with our customers, if you add them all up, it's over $500 million they've been able to make taking what they know and selling it online. So you, you do that research and you identify, well, this person's using this tool. Well, I need to go check out that tool. Because just like you said, it isn't about working harder. It's about working smarter. And we, we live in a world now where technology is constantly improving and it's being innovated to be cheaper and better on a regular basis. So let's say, so your software... Then there's a few, like I said, this is not a pitch for one company, but obviously he's a co-founder of Kajabi. So we're going to talk about Kajabi. There's other things you can use Shopify, ClickFunnels, Mm -hmm. WordPress plugins. You can build your own custom software. There's a company called Wix. There's lots of stuff, but let's just, for the purpose of this conversation, since you know Kajabi so well, I'm not getting paid an affiliate fee. So if you guys go out and do, I should get an, I'll set up one of these days. I'll, I'll monetize it, but this one, I'm not getting an affiliate fee. If you sign up to Kajabi. (laughs) Um, maybe you'll take me out to dinner if you get a lot of people. Does that Definitely. sound fair? Okay. Yep. So when somebody, would you build a website through WordPress or from scratch? No. And why not? Why did you build this special software? First of all, in the past I did, I would not now because there's so many tools and I wouldn't want to waste my time on that. I want to stay focused on what I'm good at. Right. And I think we live in a world where the internet is the great equalizer. Mm-hmm. It allows pretty much anybody to come online and start a business, whether it's a business like our Kajabi customers where they're sharing what they know and they're taking their passion. it's mostly passion. information products, It's right? information. We call it knowledge commerce. So here's how I identify. There's let's, pick, let's pick an exact customer. Maybe don't okay. say their name to keep. Sure. What's something one of your more successful customers right now is selling with sure. using your software? So there's a gentleman from Huntington Beach. I just interviewed him a couple weeks ago, and he's teaching how to do Microsoft Excel, and he's made just under $300,000. How this, do you, this year so far? Yeah, in total. And so it, all he did was make period. like a primer website, like a dummy Excel for dummies? What he did was he was really good at Excel at his job. He worked for like an, an analytical company, and he was the best at doing these different reports. People always asked him, how do you do that? So then he started blogging about it. Hmm. He just went online and, and got himself a simple blog and said, here's how I do this spreadsheet. Here's how I do this report. And then he's like, you know, maybe I'll make a course. And he eventually found Kajabi, and he did a little course on how to set up these special reports. And he has since quit his job. This is all he does. So he's making more money, three hundred grand, with Excel. Zach, do you know how to use Excel? I do. You do? Yes. I'm worried about you using Excel. I, I don't do it well. You just know how to open the program? Yeah, yeah. And hit save and type <laughs> numbers. <laughs> yes. Zach. And tab. Zach, I, I tab. think you should make a course like... How to not be good at Excel. Can Isaac I do Kirby. that? Yeah. How, how to not be good dummies at things. Dummies for dummies? So, so, if somebody, <laughs> yeah. so if somebody's watching, like what you're basically saying is this dude took a skill that a lot of people would think is not that monetizable. You can't turn it into money that easily. Yeah. He went on Kajabi. He spent whatever it is a month to build. So you guys host his course? Everything is course, his videos. His funnels and all that. Funnels, shopping cart. So when people pay a credit card, do you collect the money or do you, does he plug into like Stripe? It Stripe's connected within Kajabi. So it all goes from Stripe right into his bank account. So when he's making roughly, if we divide 300,000, he's made it in the last year. Yeah. So he's making about 15 to 20,000, right. uh, actually a little more. He's yep. almost making 25,000 a month. What does he charge for the course? I think it's 97 bucks for his excel reports course because there's so many people so somebody watching this you could do other software you could teach how to do facebook live you could teach how to set up zach i know what you should do how to set up a badass tinder account Ooh, i'm I'm giving you guys there's a guy that teaches how to text it's called he's called the texting prince and he's made about 80 grand doing that you on your software uh, on kajabi yeah so look listen to (laughs) me guys i'm giving you businesses right now (laughs) that you could run I kid you not. I'm giving you businesses right now that you could run. Sometimes people go, oh, Ty, you charge for all your advice. No, I don't. Yeah. I passed a billion minutes of free videos watched. So wow. right now I'm giving somebody a free business. You create a simple course. 
You can go to Kajabi or if you want to use WordPress or whatever. The yeah. beauty of Kajabi is special. Shopify and ClickFunnels are for like selling physical things mm -hmm. a little bit more. So if you use Kajabi or you can use plugins on WordPress, you build something that's called how to make the best Tinder profile. You could charge 97. You could, I would say charge 50, under 50 bucks, charge $49. You put together like so. You you tell people just record some videos, right? Oh yeah, just iPhone at first. So just put a little iPhone. Mm -hmm. Get your friend to hold it or get a tripod. Record fifteen videos on how you make a Tinder profile. What the first Tinder message to send? How to set up the first date? You know, like yeah. all that stuff. You said somebody's already doing this. Made eighty grand doing texting. How to how to that's text just how to text and have text game. Yeah, hmm. the texting prints. I'm gonna put, I got I'm text gonna, game. You got text game? Yeah, yeah. Zach should. You could be the text king. By the way, you guys are missing my live call. We're talking about how Travis's software, a guy is just teaching people how to do Excel. That's mm -hmm. all. He was good at Excel. Yep. They're making, he's making 25000 a month. People paying him $97 just to learn how to be really good at Excel. I told Zach, do a damn Tinder program. <laughs> There's so much opportunity. I'm giving away free business plans. It's up to you to execute. I'm giving you the keys of the kingdom right here live. Don't miss it. And on my podcast, of course. Yeah. Can you caption that, Sam? Was something good? Or Zach will do it. spill right here. Watch out. Oh, You're okay. all tangled up. So what are? Uh, let's keep talking through business ideas. Yes. People get a lot of value. What's another business idea you've seen that somebody's making fifty to 500000 a month doing? Yeah, so I have this thing. I call it the four Ps. Okay. We're, we're going to start with profession, and, and that was the Excel one. So your profession, what do you do for your job, whether you're a photographer, maybe you're a landscaping guy. There's a guy who's made $7,500 a month teaching how to start your own landscaping business. Really? So a guy That's lives awesome. in Michigan. He mows lawns. Okay. But Michigan, it gets cold. You know, you're not mowing lawns all year long. So he shot videos on how to start the business and what kind of equipment to get and how to market. And now he's making $7,500 a month teaching how to start a landscaping business. Um, I think a lot of times people take for granted what we do for our job. Yes. You don't realize I'm good at Photoshop. I'm good at social media. I'm good at speaking. I'm good at organization, property you management. You can even do house, like how to organize. You know, per Kim Kardashian, before they built the Kardashians, became a billion-dollar brand. Yeah. She started out organizing closets, and she did it for Paris Hilton. That's how she became friends. Yeah. So you could conceivably um, come in and take any skill yeah even how to how to skill how to edit videos yep. how to edit photoshop mm -hmm. um yep. you could do ones how to do, start a car wash business yep somebody just said they just signed up for kajabi <laughs> hamza nice this is gonna be a welcome good dinner you gotta take oh i know to. it's gonna be we're going to major steak we're going what's the most expensive let me think the most expensive rest you know a bad you story pick. Most expensive restaurant when I didn't have much money that I ever went to, I was in Scandinavia. I was in Sweden. And this girl was like, uh, I said, what's the best restaurant? Because I thought the currency exchange was really good, but <laughs> I learned later it wasn't. So I landed in the airport, took her out to the dinner at this place. And the guy comes around. It was like a tasting meal, like a preset menu. Yeah, yeah. And it had like seven different wines you tested. And I was like, man, this is such a good place. At the very end, the bill comes. And I forget what it was, but let's just say it was like 20,000 kroners. And I was like, oh, with the conversion, that's only going to be like 300 bucks. It was like I don't like $3,000. Oh. And I was not – this is before I had much – you know, businesses making much money. And I was like – I almost had a heart attack. And I was like thinking – I wanted to tell that girl, you ain't you worth $3,000 on a, on a first date. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to take you to a place. Let's do it. If we get you enough Kajabi sign ups, we'll, we'll go to that place in Sweden, <laughs> wherever it was. No, let's not fly. Somebody <laughs> said, what about Wesley Thomas on YouTube Live said, Olive Garden is expensive. Uh, I like Olive Garden, actually. You like Olive Garden? Dude, the soup there, that Tuscany and soup. And the breadsticks. Breadsticks, come on. Zach's chiming what, in on the podcast, no, adding value with breadstick. Oh, yeah. No, it's just, it's breadsticks are great. You know, if your date is late, you can it, fill up yeah, and you get just, fat. Yeah, well. It's no, part of his I wouldn't get fat strategy. Them, That's on. You know what? Okay, here's the first lesson in your Kajabi course for your Tinder. Those of you going to do the Tinder one. You literally say, "I will take you if you swipe. What is it? Swipe right or left? That's good. Right is good. Okay. Left is bad. You should put in your Tinder profile. If you swipe right, I will take you to Olive Garden. <laughs> you might find some pretty good dates that way. Uh, well, yeah, not not uh, not the um, uh, what do you call them? High maintenance dates. Yeah. Well, the um, 
One of my employees, he's, no a, he's a lawyer, <laughs> no. and he he attracts the worst girls in L.A., all these gold diggers. And he's like, he goes, this girl, what do you think of this text? And he showed me a text, and she's like, I will only, it was for a first date, I only eat a katana, or, which is like a really expensive sushi place. I said, dump this <laughs> chick before any girl whose primary goal of meeting is not to meet you. Yeah. On a first date, but her primary goal is to literally get the best sushi in town. She is garbage. I had, I had one girl, I asked her, I said, uh, do you like Mexican? We'll go to El Compadre, get some margaritas. I got great tacos. Uh, and she used Katana, too. Or really? Was it Katana? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She goes, I'm more of a Katana kind of girl. <laughs> nice. I didn't write her back, of course. You're like, how about Olive Garden? All right, let's get back to business. <laughs> okay. How about a business? What are other ones? Okay, let's keep so going. I have all kinds of cool ones like that. Um, What's some more? Here's a really cool one. This lady won this international photography competition where she took these great photos, then she put them into Photoshop, and she filtered them, and she won, and she was really good at it. Then she became a judge of this inter international photography competition, and she realized nobody knows how to win this thing, so she started helping a couple people. Her potential customer um, list was only 5,000 people that are in this contest, and so she did a course how to win this competition. She's now made between sixty and seventy thousand dollars on how to win this. How to win cops? How to win the lottery? You yes. can do a course. What I, ticket number? Somebody will pay for that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do Anything that. Anything that, that has value. Shady. One thing that I know that always does better is if you're going to show them something that has a business component to it. Okay. Like we've got the lady who teaches you how to become a pet photographer. Huh. So instead of how to take pictures of your pet, she teaches you how to do that. But then she also teaches you all the business components behind starting a pet photography business. I got so many how to ideas. Man. Oh man. Yeah. Once you realize that you can do this. Yo, Grant Cardone's on deck. Uh -oh. Grant. What's up, man? <laughs> Grant Cardone. <laughs> Grant Cardone. Zach Cardone. Zach created a song for you already. Watch Dodgers last night. Oh, that was rough, man. I saw you. How was that game? Hey. I was pull I was pulling for the Strokes the whole time. Oh. Grant. Astros, baby. You, spoke, strong, you were bro. going for Houston? Houston yeah. the whole time, brother. So and you then, came into our town and you house, jinxed it. Grant. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Grant came here and Houston jinxed our strong, Dodgers. Okay, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that many blue shirts, 56,000 people. There was only like maybe 2,000. Did you have bodyguards? <laughs> Don't you feel like in the world of karma, Houston needed to win? I mean, uh, Houston's on the rise. Aren't you doing real estate down there in Texas? Yeah. So you're trying to get in with the Houston crowd by, I see how you do it. I had brokers calling me. I had brokers calling me. Okay, man, I got a deal for you. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So that's the hard, the hard part of the real estate game is getting the broker to even call you. So <laughs> just getting those guys on the line. Somebody okay. said it's an Illuminati reunion. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be out there in a little bit. We're going to shoot We're gonna shoot out there. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. But keep it tight. Okay. All right. So we've got. All kinds of topics that you can, can't even imagine. The other thing that happens is if a problem or a pain happens. Okay. Let's say What's you, an example? Let's say you, you screw up your credit. There's a lady, Jeannie, that went through a divorce and then screwed up her credit 20 years ago. So she had to figure out how to improve her credit. So she started a credit uh, consulting business. Yep. And she used to do courses and travel all around and teach people how to do it. Then she puts it on Kajabi, and now she's at home, and she's killing it. How much do you think she's making, roughly? Um, she was in the 90000 when I interviewed her last year. And that had been probably seven to ten months. Okay. Right in there. Um, th th this is the way I look at it. you got profession, you've got passion, something you're passionate about, like okay. a hobby. Like Tinder for yeah, Zach. Yeah, yeah, Tinder or playing hockey or flying drones or whatever. Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> drugs. Yeah. Say, that's going to make Silk Road legal. <laughs> legal drugs, of course. <laughs> Let's, uh, What's a legal music. drug that you like? Alcohol. Alcohol. Music's a legal drug. Music's the most powerful <laughs> drug in the world. Mark my words. Okay. Awesome. Let's go to step. Okay, so step number one you can turn a profession, you can turn a passion into income if you have the right tools. Mm -hmm. Number two. How do you get people, once you build, let's say, a website on WordPress or Kajabi, think how do you get people to visit it? What you do is the way to do it. Be out okay. there and be yourself. Okay. So many tools with social media, Instagram. You go out there and you start talking about that, that subject, you, whether it's like sharing free, um, free advice. Like People don't realize you give away most of your stuff for free, Yes. and then people are going to know you, they're going to like you, and they're going to trust you. And when that happens, they buy from you. Yes. Like, I think everybody feels like we know you because you're on, you show us everything about your life. It's the same Everyone thing. Everyone knows Zach. Except the warts. 
Everybody he, wants he to will meet. not show the warts. Zach, you want to show your warts, Zach? No, I don't have. I'm talking about Tyler. How do you know if I have warts? Because uh, it, it, you know the 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 deleting of the snaps. Nope, nope. We're gonna not gonna post that one. <laughs> oh no, it's usually means, when I say something. I'm Zach's. Let me just tell you the actual truth. Zach is still butt hurt because huh. we posted some of the worst bass three pointer <laughs> shots he ever shot, and so that is not why I'm butt hurt. Yes, you are. You've been, been talking about that for weeks. Those were posted, and the great shots I made were not. There's because a difference. Statistically, between, you own that night. I, I kid was, you not. He hit. He missed forty three three pointers and hit oh, one. Wow. That's a different night. You were uh, one for forty three. So yeah, I bad. didn't post your one. That, <laughs> no, I was talking about another yeah. night when I hit some incredible shots when we were playing a game. Zach was on the baseline three. He hits the be- he he nicks the left side of the backboard. You know how, that takes skill to miss that bad. Yeah. Uh, he shot one over the mask. <laughs> I was doing drugs. Okay, so second ah. thing, using social media. Yes. Oh, let's give away a hundred bucks right now. Question for you: What is the guy? Hundred bucks if you're paying attention. And we're gonna give away this iPad in a few minutes. Somebody is selling an Excel course on Kajabi. How much are they making per month? First person that I see gets twenty. Uh, get not twenty five grand. <laughs> gets a hundred dollars. <laughs> hundred bucks. There we go. Right there. Quick. It was Syme Thugger. Where's on Twitter? It was he's making twenty five thousand a month. Congratulations. Very okay. Nice. Let's go to number. So number two is start by just getting it all over your social media That's and right. talking about it. Yep, talking okay. about it, sharing, giving away free, uh, free tips, free downloads. Posting YouTube videos, like if you're doing an Excel course, a Tinder course. Yep. Give away stuff free. The funnel, the top of the funnel has to be wide. And my funnel is, is using social media, reaches a lot of people. Most of them never become paying customers. Remember that. Most people, no matter what you do, you will never have 100% market share. You'll never even have 80 or 90% market share. McDonald's, the largest brand name in fast food, only has 10% of the fast food market. McDonald's, one of the biggest companies in the world, been around for over 60 years. So don't come in with realistic expectations. So if you make the top of the funnel wide, even if only one-tenth of 1% buy from you, it starts to add up. Jennifer... Jacob said massive competition, but massive competition means massive demand. You see, there, it's, it's, it's people misunderstand the nature of competition. For example, someone comes up to me, dude, I got a new business we should launch. There's no competitors. I go, uh-oh, <laughs> that means it's probably garbage. It's probably like, oh, you know, they're gonna, they want to launch a course on how to do underwater basket weaving. Well, there is no competitors doing that because somebody tried it and there's no <laughs> customers. So I like to be in things with demand. I mean, ideally, you want things that are competitive, but you can create monopolistic effect if you read Peter Thiel's Zero to One book, good little book if you guys want to read. But that's not always possible. There's something called Blue Ocean Strategy, Red Ocean. Blue, red Ocean means highly competitive. Blue Ocean means, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're pioneering a new frontier. But it, listen to me, okay? Don't overthink it. There's plenty of people in red ocean industries becoming billionaires. So it's not that simple. People like to get these little euphemisms in their head and go, oh, blue ocean, <laughs> blue ocean, yeah, blue ocean. Well, bullshit. Look at the look at companies. Google, let's look at the biggest companies in America. Apple was not blue ocean because you had Microsoft, you had Lotus, one, two, three, you had plenty at Dell. So they mm-hmm. survived the Red Ocean, and they are potentially the first trillion-dollar company. Number two, largest market cap company, Microsoft, once again, competing with Apple, competing with Lotus 1, 2, 3, competing with all this stuff. They, they stood the test of time. So that's Red Ocean. Warren Buffett, company valued at $400 billion. Highly competitive market. He owns companies like Bank of America. There's lots of banks in America. Oh, he owns companies like Dairy Queen. Okay, there's lots of... There's lots of fast food places. He owns Geico. There's a lot of auto insurance. There's Nationwide. There's State Farm. So this red ocean, blue ocean thing, guys, you got to think a little deeper here. I think it's important to find that thing that differentiates you, like really find the niche. Because sure, it's great to go after the big mass market, but the example of the pet photographer, instead of teaching photography, she's teaching pet photography, and then she's teaching pet photography for business owners. Yes. And once you create that niche, you're almost funneling down who you're looking for. Yes. You're more likely to find buyers. You're more likely to find people that are going to spend money and you're able to start to look where they are. Like okay. I always think I'd rather, 
you know, fish in a pond where I, I can see the fish versus just casting in the ocean, like the whole blue ocean, red ocean concept. It's figure out your niche and then go find them through social media, through sharing the, these tips and these tricks. Um, the next thing is product. You need to create a product. To yeah, sell. let's talk about this. Number three. Yep. Product creation. Mm -hmm. Where What do people do? So they got their idea. Yep. They understand how to get the word out with Instagram and YouTube and free content sampling and things like that. How do they create the product? You grab your iPhone. You can grab your laptop, your iPad, and shoot maybe five to ten videos about your subject, especially the first time around. A real simple introduction. Be like, hey, I'm Travis. I'm teaching you how to create your tender profile. And then from there, you've got three or four videos that's going to teach the rest of that. And then a last video that kind of closes it all up. And How many videos do you recommend an average course? If someone's paying 97 for that Excel course, do you need to deliver 100 videos, three videos, 600, two, it, 10? What's the number? There really isn't a number. I, what I would, would you do? Depending on the value I'm providing and, and what am I... Let's take specifically the Excel one. If you were making okay. an Excel one or a Word doc or a Twitter, uh, Tinder one, what, how many would you make? 10 to 20 videos for a 97? How long, how long would each one be? Well, that, that's another thing is how, how much information can people consume? Nothing over 10 or 15 minutes. I wouldn't go past that. So 10 to 20 15-minute videos. Yep. And people will pay a one-time fee at 97 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Super, super simple. Practical advice, people. Those of you listening to my podcast and those of you on live, I'm giving away. I told somebody a business idea, how to make money online, sell pet beds. Somebody did it and had the business up the next day. Wow. You know, so this is awesome stuff. Okay. Let me ask you uh, in closing here, because one of the things that I've been doing with these podcasts is I want I like these to the point one, because I want you listening. Those of you listening live and later, I want you to actually go out and do something. Yeah. Life should be 50% planning and strategy and listening and 50% doing. That's how, that's how it goes. 50-50. People always go, what should be the ratio? I'm like, 50-50. World's greatest ratio. So 50-50. I want you to go out. If they want to use Kajabi, what's a simple way? Like, I should have an affiliate link, but I don't. But they go to just, <laughs> yeah, just Kajabi, Kajabi.com? Just go to Kajabi.com. We've got a 28-day challenge you can sign up for. It's going to give you emails every single day exactly what to do step So it's by like step. a step-by-step -step video tutor? That's right. And it's a free trial. You don't have to pay. You're going to get it for free during that whole time. So they get just... 30 days free. They put in their credit card. Yep. It's 28 exact, but yeah. 28 days. Right, right and in that range. if they don't like it during the 28 days, can they cancel before their card is billed? Anytime. You could cancel after your bill, then we'll give you your money back. We only want oh. people to pay us that are going to make money. I like that. Mm -hmm. You're down in San Diego. We're going to see more because this Orange is... County. Oh, yeah. You're in Orange County. I always think you're in Everybody San Diego. thinks we're in San Diego. It happens all the time. I know. <laughs> it feel like the internet mafia is down in San Diego. It is, so. yeah. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Let's give away an iPad. All right. So I'm going to have you hold this bad right. boy up. By the way, this is a 32 gig <laughs> iPad. Uh, it comes with a lightning USB cable, power adapter, all that good stuff. I think it's a silver one. Nice. Um, okay. So here is the question, and here's what I'm going to do. The fourth person to answer this, because I want to give everybody time because some of these lag. The fourth correct answer wins. Okay? And you can post more than once if you want. All right? Real quick, on Twitter, start liking this. Everybody on Facebook, start liking this. We've been talking about how you can use software and take what you know and make money off of it. He has over 4, 000, uh, 9 thousand customers doing that every month. I used to say, uh, turn what you know into dough. There we go. Okay, so here's what <laughs> we go. He mentioned the four P's of what business to build. Name two of them. Two of the four P's he said, if you've been listening. Okay, there's the first person that said it. First person. I'm pick, looking for the fourth. Second person. Hold back here. It's the fourth. I'll point to it. I'll point okay. to it. The fourth person to say it. We've got two so far. The third. That's it, right? The third. That's not what. It's uh. Yeah, I saw it in there. Not that one. Not that one. All right, who There's do we got? Passion. What do we got? Passion's what do we got? Good. Sean Vosler, you can't win, buddy. <laughs> Sean, you can't win. Someone said passion and persistence. Incorrect. Personal and passion. No. You want me to say them again, real quick? <laughs> no, I'll just. No, we're gonna get. Just point your finger at one. I'm gonna go right 
There. Boom. Luscious Latino. It's you pick a business around your profession or your passion. Yep. Four Ps. There you go. Well, uh, that's an interesting name, Luscious Latina. <laughs> Latino. Like that. That's well, who took it. Latina. I, I, was, I was wondering who took that. Last, last time, someone on Instagram won. The time before Twitter. We have Facebook winners. Nice. Thank you so much. We're going to be back in a little bit with Grant Cardone. we got a power podcast hour. Nice. I'm going to be talking about how to invest your money. Who wants to learn how to invest money? Not me. Thank you, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Zach, of course, Thanks, Zach. has zero interest in investing. I can't money. wait for that Tinder course. I don't need it though, because my beautiful wife. <laughs> Your wife's there. right there. I know. Don't be talking about Tinder. I on have there. bad Tinder stories. I was on her podcast, and I had to tell a. Your uh, most scariest Tinder date story. <laughs> Zach has some good. Zach has some great ones before Tinder. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That'll be good for a course. Like that'll be kind of like some stories. <laughs> he ran during from, the course. It's he not drove just off on a girl. He saw her face and wasn't <laughs> no. attracted to her. You saw her body and face, and yes. he kept driving. <laughs> right, and she saw him and she jumped in the car and chased him. That was <laughs> the greatest part of it. She yeah. was like, "I thought you didn't see me." All right, everybody. She was goth. Check out Kajabi. Awesome. Uh, make sure you mention my name if you talk to customer support so I can get that free dinner. <laughs> One of these days we'll get an affiliate link up and uh, I'll make some money off it. But uh, this is free info for you. I don't make a penny. All right. Talk to you guys soon.